Good day, everyone, and welcome back to another Tech Talk Tuesday. I hope you are loving life. That's right, loving life, because at the end of the day, that's all we got. We got one. So you know what? Enjoy it, make the most of it. Don't live with any regrets and uh, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, today on Tech Talk Tuesday, we are gonna talk about the 13.2 front axle options. So basically you have two 13.2 front spring options. Um, I guess there are a couple axle options. You can go with Dana or you can go with Meritor, but specifically we're looking at the 13.2 air ride front axle. And I wanted to show you guys how much it will raise or lower the front of your Peterbilt 389. So I have here, you've seen it before, Peterbilt Long Hood 389. Now this is the one I borrowed the def tank on, so it doesn't have a def tank right now, which means I'm gonna start it and I'm gonna get a check engine light, but that's okay. So anyways, right now what we're looking at is clearance. Right now we've got the 13.2 front air ride front end in it. It is out of air and we are going to see how much it raises the truck when we are up. And look at how easy this hood opens like. Like literally butter. Butter, I'm telling you. The hood is a little dirty from the dust. <sighs> and I don't like to touch the hood and we're scratching it. You know, this is interesting with this thing aired down. Look at look at how low the hood is like that's just crazy um so if we come over here i'm gonna flip this latch so i can close the hood again but this is our 13 front air ride suspension from peterbilt now you'll notice it's got just a a little skinny leaf on the back and it's basically just keeping everything in alignment um it doesn't really serve much of a spring purpose other than holding it together we've got the two airbags and on the front you can see there's a better shot we've got the heavy spring so if you do run out of air that is a spring that holds everything there are bumpers in there and right now um the truck is deflated so it's sitting down um now with the front air ride suspension there's only a single leveling valve so on the passenger side here is the leveling valve and you can see it goes to the shock mount it's got the little valve all your airlines go into your bags um actually you know what this shows the front spring better because we don't have the uh the uh the drag link in the way and you can see all the components albeit a little bit dirty but uh yeah look at that freaking awesome and look at how low this is like <laughs> i know i talk about it and it makes me laugh because it's so low i can stand on the ground and almost wash the windows it is so cool i'm sorry but i just i absolutely love this spec 11 r22 front steer tires we've got the uh x-line energy and uh you know what if i win the lottery this is what i'm building i think i've even liked the color too like if you look look at that color it's uh it's like a coral coral red or something like that but um anyway sorry guys i'm getting sidetracked i just love this truck so much like you know for a highway cruiser air ride front end long hood freaking um low air leaf on the back like it just doesn't get any better this thing is like driving, it's like driving your 1978 Lincoln where it's just low and slow, eh? Just cruising. And I say low and slow, but really it's like low and probably fairly quick. So, you know, not that we drive fast, but you know, we might drive fast. I mean, I'd never get pulled over and my car taken away more than once, hopefully. I don't know. Anyways, so let's air this baby up and look at how easy this is to work on this. Like, how often do you get to touch the top of your engine? You know, and touch your window, but don't touch these because those are greasy. Um, and you know what the, uh, the old trick is? And a lot of you guys probably know it. Take an old pair of socks and slip over there and the socks wear. And if you touch them, you don't get greasy because the socks are on there. And, uh, and when the socks wear out, you just tear them off and put a new set of old socks on it. And your wife will be happy because now you have a purpose for all those socks with a hole in the toe. Um, I know mine gets absolutely, you know, crazy about, uh, you know, socks with holes in them, which is kind of good because I guess I, you know, don't have to worry about it because she goes crazy. And anyways, I'm babbling now. Talk about socks. Like really? This is a truck channel, Mike. 
So anyways, I'm gonna close the hood. I'm gonna set up a tape measure and I'm gonna set up a camera. We're gonna air it up. And when we air it up, we will see how, um, how high it raises when we put air in the suspension, so. So guys, what I've done is I've set up my other GoPro on the tripod, pointed it at the fender so we can actually see how much the fender raises off the ground when we air it up. Now, like I said, I did rob the def tank off this one and it isn't here yet. So, um, you know, global supply chain issues like, <sighs> what do you do? What do you do? All we can do is what we can do. So anyways, let's start this baby up. And just uh, for the record, I don't start trucks from the ground. I always step on the clutch, make sure it's in neutral because it might only happen once in a hundred years. But if it happens to you, it'd be a real bad day. So, right now, air pressure. We got zero. Well, actually, we're higher than zero. We've got a check engine light, def lights. Look at this dash, you know, since we're here. It just looks absolutely fantastic. I love building it dash with gauges, we've got our air switches. Gosh, leather steering wheel. Looks fantastic. So let's go see how high this thing is gonna raise up. Well guys, a little bit of a change in plans. I didn't realize that the coolant lines weren't plugged off going to the depth tank that's not on there. So, I'm using a service truck. So, if we look, we are now up to 115 PSI. So we're now at 115 PSI. I actually used, sorry, I got the compressor going. I'll shut that off. Oh, there it goes. So I used the air up chuck. And if we look over here, this is the height that you gain from dumping your air on a 13-2 front axle. So with that, I measured it. You're a full two and a half inches from dumped to aired up. Um, could even be a little bit more, but where this truck is sitting, it's two and a half inches. And uh, I'm telling you, it's pretty awesome to be able to dump your front axle air and kind of like have it kneel. Mm -hmm. So makes quite a difference now picking up the hood. Um, if we take a look, our suspension leveling valve is now parallel. The airbags are aired up. The spring doesn't look like it has a negative arch anymore. And like I was saying, this spring basically guides your front suspension. So that doesn't actually carry any weight. And this one is the front spring that does all the work. So if uh, if you have a truck that leans a little bit, you can add a leveling valve on the driver's side. But you'll see with the driver's side, there is a lot of stuff in the way, but you could still put a leveling valve on this side and basically um, copy it. And this here is our air chuck. So what we have is a little jumper. I'll turn that off. And then here is our airport. So in a situation like that, oops, this is fantastic. You know, you don't have to worry about starting your truck to air up the truck. If you're in a shop and you don't want to make a lot of noise or um, let's just say you like to have your truck aired up all the time and you park it inside every night, which I'm pretty sure not a lot of people do. Um, you could have it plugged in so it's aired up, kind of like a fire truck. You know, not that you're going to a fire, but I don't know, maybe you got neighbors that don't like noisy trucks, so. Anyways, guys, that's my Tech Talk Tuesday on the air ride front, 13.2 front axle. Um, difference in cost, you're looking at about just under $1,000 list price. So in all reality, for us Canadians, you're probably looking at about 75% of that. So call it $750 more to go with the air ride front end. And you know what, it works good. I would say the only downside is you can pick up rocks in under these bags sometimes. And, uh, and you could have some premature bag failures at times. But overall, they work great. Um, haven't really had too many issues with it. 
They look fantastic. You know, on a 389 like this with a long hood, it's great to be able to slam that front end down and uh, it rides like a freaking Cadillac. Even better than a Cadillac. Rides like a 389, man. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Mike. Peace.